The race for the White House comes to Kentucky. The first candidate is Dr. Ben Carson, who was in Lexington today. We'll take you to his town hall meeting now at 4. February winding down on a very nice note, but March is getting ready to kick off on a wild note. We've got the bumpy forecast ahead. The Kentucky Wildcats are fighting for first place in the SEC as they hit the road for Florida. Now at 4, how Coach Cal has brought back the tweak to give the Cats a boost. This is WKYT News at 4. Good afternoon, I'm Jennifer Palumbo. It only happens once every four years, and this February 29th leap year is giving us some great weather. Here's a live look at downtown Lexington, where it's sunny and in the mid-50s right now. But this dry and warmer air won't last too long. Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey has a first look at the forecast. And Chris, March coming in like a lion? Yeah, it really is, and uh, it makes its way on into town tomorrow with everything coming from the sky. Similar to what we had last week when we had that big surge in temperatures, some thunder, some lightning, and then a few uh, snowflakes with old man winter. Right now, it's absolutely gorgeous. Coming off a spectacular weekend of weather. Had a little shower and thunderstorm action overnight. Those winds causing some issues around 50 miles per hour at times. About 56 our current temperature in Lexington. Winds have calmed down a little bit. Still coming out of the southwest, 13 miles an hour. Humidity is uh, fairly low right now, 40%. That'll increase later tonight. Look at the temperatures across the board. Thank you, February. You're giving us this bonus day, and we're making the best of it into the mid and upper 50s across all of central and eastern Kentucky. Defender Radar Network, nothing showing up for now. That's going to change in a hurry, though. A cold front to our north has an area of low pressure developing out of the Rocky Mountains heading into the Plain States. Mild, windy weather out ahead of it. And it's true winter time coming in behind that. So it's another wild ride for us. Strong thunderstorms are even possible as we go into the day tomorrow. Your typical 30 degree temperature drop and maybe, just maybe, a little period of some light snow where you live. Jennifer, when I come back in 15 minutes, we will break it all down for you for that first day of March in the wild ride with the updated hour by hour forecast. That's in 15 minutes. We'll see you then, Chris. It could be a decisive week in the race for the White House. Tomorrow is Super Tuesday with 12 states holding nominating contests. Kentucky's Republican Presidential Caucus is Saturday, and at least three candidates will be in the state this week. Donald Trump will be in Louisville tomorrow, Senator Marco Rubio in Lexington on Friday, and Dr. Ben Carson had a town hall meeting in Lexington this morning. WKYT's Hillary Thornton takes us there in our top story at four. Hundreds filled the hit center here behind me this morning. In fact, at the scheduled start time, there were still about 300 people outside in the security line waiting to get inside. The doors opened around 8 o'clock, the line growing as Dr. Carson's scheduled 10 o'clock start time approached. Excitement as the state's first caucus in decades is now only days away. You don't get to hear presidential candidates speak often, especially in this state, seeing as how we used to have a May primary. While some have not made up their minds just yet, they wanted to come take part in history, while others are confident in their belief Dr. Carson is the right man for the job. One, he's extremely intelligent. Uh, two, he's an extremely humble man. And uh, I like what he has to say, but particularly and specifically, he is a man of faith. We in America must stop being phobic about our faith. Carson took the crowd through how he achieved his American dream and the challenges he faced along the way, also talking about criticism of his calm demeanor. It means that you're weak. You don't get angry. You don't jump up and down and shout and act like a buffoon. Going on to say that his demeanor is not a sign of weakness, but one of strength. Honestly, I do not think he has a shot, but I am hanging in there with Dr. Carson. I am going to vote for him. Now, Dr. Carson did spend about an hour here at the HIT Center, taking time out of what is a very tight schedule for him, with another event scheduled to start just a few hours after the one here in Virginia. In Lexington, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. Donald Trump will be in Louisville at the Kentucky International Convention Center tomorrow afternoon at 4. Senator Marco Rubio will be in Lexington on Friday morning at 10:15. The location has not yet been announced. A rock slide in northern Tennessee continues to cause headaches for Kentucky drivers. Interstate 75 South, south of the Kentucky border, could be closed for weeks because of a rock slide. There are detours in place, but one truck driver tells us it means going 75 to 100 miles out of his way. Cut them off here and send them down 25, and they come back down, down on uh, 
26 and 40. Commercial vehicles are being told to get off exit 29 and take 25E to Tennessee 63 through the Cumberland Gap Tunnel. Cars are being taken off the interstate at exit 160. We'll have more on this I-75 mess on WKYT News at 530. Lexington police say a second person has died from a shooting this weekend, and they're now calling it a murder-suicide. A relative found the victims yesterday morning at a home on Pittman Court. According to police records, a man killed his girlfriend, then shot himself. The coroner has just identified the two as 37-year-old Antonio Brooks and 36-year-old Sakinia Rice. Our reporters are working on a number of other stories for WKYT starting at 4.30. Amber Philpott joins us from the newsroom with a look at some of the news in progress. Good afternoon, Amber. Good afternoon to you, Jennifer. Today we're learning some new information about weekend testing done in Estill County after radioactive waste was found in a landfill. Today, leaders want to make sure that the schools across the road are safe and that the water running off the landfill is safe as well. This weekend, contractors tested the air and water quality. The judge executive says they're waiting for the final results, but preliminary tests are normal. We'll have more for you on the testing in Estill County ahead on WKYT News at 430. There's a new place to stay in downtown Lexington. The much-anticipated 21C Hotel at North Upper and Main open today. The hotel has 88 guest rooms, conference rooms, a restaurant, and exercise room. The hotel features art from Lexington area artists, and it will be rotated out every six to eight months. Coming up in our Out and About segment, Deanne Stevens will take you on a behind-the-scenes tour with the 21C curator and president. Let's look at just some of the news in progress. Jennifer, back to you. Thanks, Amber. The Kentucky Wildcats have only two games left in the regular season. The first test is tomorrow in Gainesville against the Gators. The Cats fell to 22nd in the latest AP poll after Saturday's loss at Vanderbilt. Florida is coming off a loss to LSU. Today, John Calipari said Derek Willis will not play tomorrow because of his ankle injury. And the Cats coach said he's brought back the tweak by making some changes. This is probably a week early for me, but we're, we tweaked a few things that, that word. scary word. So we tweaked a few things, and, uh, and, and it's not a wholesale change from what we do, but you basketball bennies will have an idea what I did. Most of you in this room will have no idea what I tweaked. But the people that really follow it and study it will say, well, this is what he just did. Also, another SEC honor for Jamal Murray. He's the co-SEC Freshman of the Week after averaging 28 points and 6.5 and rebounds against Alabama and Vanderbilt. Also today, Murray was named a finalist for the U.S. Basketball Writers Association's National Freshman of the Year. And Tyler Eulis was named a finalist for National Player of the Year. It's the Cats and the Gators tomorrow night in Gainesville. It's a 7 o'clock tip-off on ESPN. Then UK is back home Saturday for Senior Day with Alex Poitras against LSU. Downtown Lexington's newest fitness club may leave health gurus in awe. We'll tell you about Proof Fitness and WKYT Money Watch. And if you want to save some cash at Disney World, you may want to start being selective about when you go. We'll tell you about the new surge pricing system next on WKYT News at 4. I'm Alex Trebek. If you're age 50 to 85, I have an important message about security. Write down the number on your screen so you can call when I finish. The lock I want to talk to you about isn't the one on your door. This is a lock for your life insurance, a rate lock that guarantees your rate can never go up at any time for any reason. But be careful. Many policies you see do not have one. But you can get a lifetime rate lock through the Colonial Pen Program. Call this number to learn more. This plan was designed with a rate lock for people on a fixed income who want affordable life insurance that's simple to get. Coverage options for just $9.95 a month, less than 35 cents a day. Act now and your rate will be locked in for life. It will never increase. Guaranteed. This is lifelong coverage that can never be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Guaranteed. And your acceptance is guaranteed with no health questions. You cannot be turned down because of your health. Call for your information kit and read about this rate lock for yourself. You'll also get a free gift with great information. Both are free with no obligation. Don't miss out. Call for information, then decide.
Read about the 30-day 100% money-back guarantee. Don't wait. Call this number now. Call 1-800-440-4200 for your free information and a free gift. There's no obligation. That's 1-800-440-4200. Or visit us online at colonialpen.com. That number again is 1-800-440-4200. 1-800-440-4200. Call now. Do you have a dream of exploring the open roads or traveling with family? It's time to get started. And Day Brothers RV in London is home to the largest selection of RVs and travel trainers in Southern Kentucky with brands like Thor, Coachman, Heartland, Fleetwood, and Winnebago. The selection has never been larger and the features have never been more luxurious. Explore in comfort. Explore your way. Explore more options with Day Brothers RV in London. Make time this spring to escape to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, where the only thing you'll want to do is have fun in the sun. Let the sound of the ocean's tide take all your cares away and leave you refreshed to experience something new. It's your moment to let go and unwind on Myrtle Beach time. Let go and unwind on Myrtle Beach time. Keep up with the latest news on WKYT.com. Join the conversation on Twitter and become a part of the WKYT Facebook family. There's a new place to work out in downtown Lexington. That begins today's WKYT Money Watch. Proof Fitness opens tomorrow at 5 a.m. It's on West Main Street. The $2 million facility is the gym's second Lexington location to go along with one at the Tates Creek Center. The new location recently housed LA Fitness, which moved out last May. Fitness Club is 29,000 square feet and features more than 200 pieces of workout equipment, many of them set up in spots that overlook views of downtown. It also has a racquetball court, locker rooms, and a spa. We have six separate studio rooms here, all housing uh, workouts from spinning, rowing, uh, TRX, uh, TKO. We even have a hot yoga room. After working out, people can make their way over to the Caldo Cafe, which offers a variety of healthy foods and smoothies. We'll have more details about Proof Fitness on WKYT News at 4.30. Disney wants to cut down on the crowds. The resorts will now charge three different prices depending on the time of year for a single day park ticket. The calendar will be divided into value, regular, and peak periods. A value one day pass at Disneyland Monday through Thursday when most schools are in session will drop to $95. The price then jumps to $112 on peak days. Apple is expected to release its newest iPhone at the end of March. The phone will reportedly have a smaller 4-inch screen and look identical to the iPhone 5S except for curved edges. And it won't include the 3D touch feature. Tech experts say the move could satisfy users who like Apple's smaller phones with longer battery life. It's good news if you like mailing cards and letters. Stamp prices are going down by 2 cents. The cut is the first one in nearly a century. Stamps cost 49 cents now and will cost 47 cents starting April 10th. The reduction is part of a prearranged deal with Congress that lets the post office raise money by hiking stamp prices three cents in 2014, and now it has to roll back the increase. It says it'll lose $2 billion as a result. I'm Deanne Stevens out and about at the all new 21C Museum Hotel with a sneak peek of the 21C Suite. That's when we return here on WKYT. Very nice weather on this bonus day of the year. March getting ready to push on into the bluegrass day with showers, thunderstorms, dropping temperatures. We'll show you what else follows that up next. The pit sits quiet in Lexington while in Louisville construction is underway. A new building planned to open in two years. Sam Dick finds out why they're moving forward while we are stuck in a hole. A tale of two cities, tonight at 6 on WKYT. Get weather plus traffic with a WKYT weather app. Have the Defender radar network in the palm of your hand. 
while checking your driving conditions for your commute on the same screen. Weather plus traffic on the WKYT Weather App. Important message for women and men ages 50 to 85. Please write down this toll-free number now. Right now in areas like yours, people are receiving this free information kit for guaranteed acceptance life insurance with a rate lock through the Colonial Pen Program. If you are on a fixed income or concerned about rising prices, learn about affordable whole life insurance with a lifetime rate lock that guarantees your rate can never increase for any reason. If you did not receive your information or if you misplaced it, call this number now and we'll rush it to you. Your acceptance is guaranteed with no health questions. Please stand by to learn more. I'm Alex Trebek and the announcement you just heard is for a popular and affordable life insurance plan with a rate lock guarantee. That means your rate is locked in for life and can never increase. Did you get your free information kit in the mail? If not, please call this toll-free number now. In the last month alone, thousands have called about this plan with the rate lock guarantee through the Colonial Pen Program. And here's why. This plan is affordable with coverage options for just $9.95 a month. That's less than 35 cents a day. Your rate is locked in and can never go up. And your acceptance is guaranteed. You cannot be turned down because of your health. See how much coverage you can get for just $9.95 a month. Call now for your free information kit. Don't wait. Call today. Call 1-800-909-4488 for your free information and free gift. There's no obligation. That's 1-800-909-4488. Or visit us online at colonialpen.com. That number again is 1-800-909-4488. Call now. I wasn't too thrilled about dentures, but I need to be able to chew. So I called Aspen Dental, they got me right in because my visit was long overdue. And no one on staff even made me feel bad that I had been in since the leg warmer bed. My new dentures came with a great guarantee, so this giant pretzel's got nothing on me. With dentures starting at $3.99 and a money back guarantee, dentistry's never been easier. Call 1 800 Aspen Dental. I'm WKYT's Miranda Combs, and I stand for Kentucky. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. Well, we get a bonus day for the month of February, and I'll tell you what, if this is uh, indicative of where we are going for March, we're going to be okay, right? Unfortunately, March has different ideas as we roll into the first week especially. Look outside right now. On this leap day, temperatures are into the mid and upper 50s. Blue skies across the entire area. This is some of the good stuff. 56 Lexington. Hello, Richmond. You're down to 55 degrees, all the way down to 55. Tomorrow's weather, though, looks a little bumpy. We go into the afternoon. We're going to hit 60. Winds are going to gust up. You're going to have some thunderstorms. Some of those storms into the afternoon may even be on the strong side. Then the cold front marches its way through the area. So that's right. We've got 60, some thunder, some lightning, then 30s and maybe a touch of some snow flurries and light snows tomorrow night. Not a big deal in terms of the snows. Similar to what we went through last week when we had thunder, lightning, and a big temperature drop followed by some flakes. I see that happening again tomorrow and tomorrow night. Defender Radar Network, nothing going on. We'll put it to good use, though, coming up tomorrow. Three-day threat track tomorrow. Moderate category. Got to watch for a strong thunderstorm or two, especially southern Kentucky. Then temperatures crash late. A morning flurry on Wednesday, Thursday. It's another ugly day. A little rain and snow moving on into the area. March, you can do better than this. Hang in there. Next week looks a lot better. Here's the low pressure coming across the area tomorrow. This is a similar map to what we were showing you about a week ago to the day that had a storm system with spring ahead of it and winter time behind it. It's a similar setup. We go through the afternoon. Those temperatures will begin to drop from west to east and by 11 tomorrow night. Maybe a period of some light snow and flurries. Do the homework, kids. Not anticipate any, uh, anticipating anything to stick. Cold weather, though, for your Wednesday with a few flurries left over early in the morning. Hour by hour forecast. Let's walk you through it all. 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. It's chilly. Upper 30s in the north. Upper 40s across the south. Look at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures may hit the mid and upper 60s. Here comes our cold front with a line of thunderstorms that may really begin to crank 
as we go into late tomorrow afternoon across the southern half of the area. This model is really trying to hone in on a nasty little thunderstorm complex, southern Kentucky. Oh, by the way, that's snow that's showing up on the map as well. And look at that by 10 o'clock tomorrow night. We've got a few flakes that are flying around into Wednesday morning. Temperatures are in the 20s to start out the day. So we go from mid 60s tomorrow to 20s roughly 12, 15 hours later. Gotta love Kentucky. And our weather. We get rain and snow around again for Thursday. Friday, we start to pull out of this. One more little system may have a shower with it on Saturday. Sunday, we warm it up. Next week, I see the 70s coming on multiple days. So we've got that going for us. Let's see what traffic is going on right now. Here's Officer Don. A live look at Lexington rush hour traffic and real time traffic flow. We can see outbound on South Line, a little heavy stuff approaching Southwood Drive. We expect that. I really, no major issues over on Richmond Road at the north side. The stop and go traffic is on the inner and outer loops approaching Liberty. No surprise there. As far as drive times go, it's a beautiful afternoon and things look normal outbound toward Nicholasville, 13 minutes or so. At times, it looks like for sales, okay across the county line and no problems across the Clay Ferry Bridge so far. Now back to the studio. Thank you, Officer Don. A new hotel is open in downtown Lexington. The 21C Museum Hotel on Main Street is in the old First National Bank building. Deanne Stevens out and about today, catching up with the president of 21C. Hi, Deanne. Good afternoon, guys. We are here at the all new 21C Museum Hotel, and we are lucky enough to be standing with the president of 21C Museum. Craig Greenberg is with us, and Craig, what, where are we? I mean, I'm all giddy because this, this place is fabulous, beautiful here, the suite. Well, we're all very excited, too. We're in the 21C suite, which is the largest room we have available here at 21C Lexington. And, and we're standing in the bedroom right here. Well, this is, when you walk in, I mean, it's breathtaking, just the beauty of all the artwork and what you guys have put together here. And then the size of the bed. Can anybody I mean, stay in here? I guess they got to have a little cash anyone to do can, so. Anyone can stay here. This room is uh, available for reservations just like any other room in the property. Okay, 21C Museum Hotel. You guys uh, started in Louisville, what, 10 years ago? We did. It's 10 years ago this month that we opened our first project in Louisville. And you finally got smart and made your way to Lexington, <laughs> Kentucky, right? That's, that's right. This is our fifth hotel that we're opening, and we couldn't be more excited. And you're so different than just your norm hotel, because this really is a destination place for people to come and, and enjoy the beautiful artwork that you guys have. Talk a bit about that and how you kind of mixed it up a bit. Well, contemporary art is at our core, and we truly are a museum with rotating curated shows of contemporary art. Plus, we have a great hotel and a wonderful new restaurant here, Lockbox, for great food, great cocktails, and a really fun place for the public to come and enjoy art, culture, and food and drink. Incredible oysters, too, I might that add. That, too. That, too. Okay, we, those as well. <laughs> we got to show people the rest of this suite because it is so different in that the colors that you've put in here. And this is a place where I would say some meetings uh, happen. Yeah, this space is very flexible space. Not only does it have great views, but the furniture is designed so that you can work, you can host social events, civic events, uh, whether you just want to privately relax. They're really very flexible space up here in the 21C suite and in all of our rooms, just on a smaller scale than this room. Incredible views of downtown Lexington, too, because our beautiful city is a place to see. A lot of folks want to be a part of this. A ribbon was cut this afternoon. You guys have a party planned for tonight, right? We do. We invite the public to come join us at 8 o'clock tonight. We thank everyone that came down with us for the ribbon cutting earlier, and uh, we're going to have a fun party this evening starting at 8 o'clock tonight right here in the hotel. Come be a part of the big celebration, a big welcome for 21C Museum Hotel here in downtown Lexington. The festivities start, as Craig mentioned, at 8 o'clock tonight. I'm Deanne Stevens, out and about. Back to you guys. Why are so many people here to meet the Beyonce of decluttering? I'm Jamie Yukas in New York with the Japanese trend taking America by storm. Tomorrow night's Mega Millions jackpot is $135 million and Wednesday night's Powerball jackpot is up to $292 million. Suffs Furniture and Oriental Rugs is having the big leap year sale Friday through Monday with 30 to 50% off store wide. Suffs has a special on Lazy Boy recliners. Save $367, only $384. Save 44% on a three piece bedroom set, only $1744. You can be sleeping on a Tempur Pedic Queen set for $36 a month, interest free, or receive a $300 Suffs gift certificate. Look, Vito is getting ready for the leap year sale at Suffs Furniture and Oriental Rugs, Nicholasville Road, and Main Street, Georgetown. It's early, 
and you need a breakfast built for work days, not weekdays. Say good morning to the three buck breakfast with the chicken and gravy breakfast burrito from your DQ. Our famous chicken strip plus eggs, cheese, and pepper gravy wrapped up in a warm flour tortilla. Served with crispy hash browns and coffee, all for just three bucks. Now this is a breakfast built for work days. The chicken and gravy breakfast burrito, just one of our delicious three buck breakfasts, only at your DQ. This is fan food, not fast food. Do you want to give your home lasting value and curb appeal? Then get new siding from Champion. And now get 20% off new siding. So call 888-960-2426 today. Because every home needs a Champion. Uncomfortable in your own home? Want lower energy bills? Then get new windows from Champion. And now get $300 off per window. And you pay nothing for 18 months. So call 888-960-2426 today. Because every home needs a Champion. Hi, I'm Brent. This is Geronimo. We're here to tell you about Fireplace Concepts, Lexington's only licensed fireplace shop. With over 60 years of combined experience, we know what it takes to heat a home. Come by and see us at our newly renovated showroom on Regency Road. And as always, home is where the heart is. If your home, office, or church is in need of accessibility, visit the friendly specialist at Transitions Lift and Elevator today. Make an appointment at our drive-in showroom where we'll demonstrate the benefits of our easy-to-use Bruno stair lift system, wheelchair lifts, and elevators before we install them. Our top-of-the-line affordable equipment is easy to use and custom-made to fit any home or business. Transitions Lift and Elevator is a local family-owned company and a factory-trained and certified Bruno dealer serving all of Kentucky. Turn your loving on and try something crazy good. The new Beer Battered Fish and Fries box is a catch for only two bucks. Two Beer Battered Fish Fillets with famous seasoned fries and dill tartar sauce, just two bucks. Rallies and checkers. Epic meals, epic deals. It's time for better living, health, education, and consumer news that impacts your life. It can be a real challenge to get rid of all the clutter, but there are easy ways to get organized. Jamie Yuckus met a best-selling author who's back with a new book to help people who want to tidy up their lives. <laughs> Petite Japanese decluttering guru Marie Kondo is becoming larger than life in the world of organizing. At a packed book signing for her latest work in New York City, people seem mesmerized by her patented KonMari folding method. They call you the Beyonce of decluttering. What, what do you think when you hear that? I call myself a self-professed organizing freak, so I'm so amazed and honored that they call me that. Fans like Ayelet Sela are inspired to clean up physical and emotional space. It's appreciating what you've had in your life, but not holding on. Kondo's approach to downsizing always follows a specific order. First clothes, then books, paperwork, then miscellaneous items such as toiletries and kitchen items, before moving on to sentimental objects, including photographs. The philosophy is only to keep things that spark joy. The idea may be a simple one, but many people have a hard time letting go. So I saw your room. Uh, you needed this book. I desperately needed this book, yes. The goal of my message is not to uh, discard everything that surrounds you, but instead to really figure out what makes you happy. And she urges people to quietly thank the things they throw away. It's something that's not just about organizing. It's really about what you want in life, what your priorities are, and having a joyful life. Her followers believe once their homes are in order, their lives will be too. Jamie Yukis, CBS News, New York. A lot of good advice there. Marie has thousands of views on YouTube. She's starring in a decluttering TV show, and she'll launch an app to help people clean up later this spring. For more health education and consumer news, go to WKYT.com and click on Better Living. Now let's head over to Chris on this fantastic leap day. You're welcome. Thank you, Mother Nature, for one more nice day. We are wrapping up meteorological winter. That's December through February, and we're ready to march right on into springtime tomorrow with a big storm system. Short term, look at all of the clear skies and clear sailing on the roads across the entire region. Doesn't matter if we take you to Louisville, to Lexington, big blue skies over both cities. We get to Campton, Jackson, uh, or Jenkins, I should say, E-Town and London, everybody with uh, mainly sunshiny skies. Moorhead Cam looks a little droopy. It decided it wanted to just look at the ground right now instead of the blue skies over top of us. Everybody, though, with temperatures into the mid and upper 50s. That's a good day. But we're in for a big change tomorrow. Yeah, we are. You get thunderstorms, <laughs> gusty winds, 60, and then some snow. All right, get out and enjoy it Whoa. while you can. Well, that's it for this edition of WKYT News at 4. Sam Dick and Amber Philpott are next at 430.